similar scene in Schoharie, where neighborhoods were completely submerged in water for a time. Chris Gloninger snapped this photo earlier today. You can see the water turn that area into a lake. You see the water hitting the home's front porch and halfway up that street sign there in the back right of your screen. Our Brendan Lewis is in Schoharie tonight. And Brendan, today's rain hit some people harder than Tropical Storm Irene did two years ago. Is that right? It is, Greg. That's right. A little bit different situation than what happened uh, during hurricane, during uh, Tropical Storm Irene. Uh, Ritz Town and the village of Schoharie do remain under a state of emergency. That's mostly a precaution, trying to keep unnecessary travel down to allow the emergency responders to get to and from where they need to go. Right now, most of those roads are back open, with the exception of where we are here. This is Stony Brook Road. Firefighters came by and put out these uh, barricades here to prevent people from going down Stony Brook Road and encountering very high levels of water. Uh, this storm hit Scoharie differently than Irene because uh, instead of hitting the area closest to the bridge and where the, uh, where the river is, it hit further south. This is Middleburg, right, where we're standing here as well. Uh, and this is about as far north as they went here. Many of the people who were impacted by Irene were actually uh, just fine after the water started to recede. Tonight, the homes here that are under uh, water include the town's fire chief, uh, Marty Pierce, who uh, can't even access his home to assess the damage. You know, it was like a bomb went off. Um, I, I've never seen it like this before. Uh, I had approximately three and a half feet of water around my place. Yeah, was it the same when it happened, Irene happened? Was that the same? No, it, we didn't have this during Irene. We had a little bit during Lee uh, where it affected my property, but uh, nothing like today. And firefighters adding most of that damage again to targeted towards the southern area of Schoharie. There was a wall that was knocked down in the village of Schoharie, but other than that, that's uh, pretty much where the damage was limited to. They're expecting the water to recede uh, pretty quickly throughout the night, and then uh, by the morning, everyone should be able to get back into their homes for any of the few people who are still out and uh, be able to assess the damage. And as Chris was saying, the cleanup uh, that live in Schoharie. Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News. So that's going to be a real wake-up call in the morning when some people get to see the damage for the first time by the light of day. Yeah, it, it will be a little bit surprising. Some folks have been uh, going around the barricades even just to get a peek of, of uh, any of the damage back there. Some saying, uh, you know, it's, it's what they expected. Others saying uh, one guy drove by and told me that he lost his home in Irene, moved here thinking he'd be above ground, and then uh, turns out the water came after him here, but his home uh, is okay, it seems. Watch Brandon Lewis reporting live from Schoharie.